This is code.org and we're going to continue working on our website. I have a bunch of content. If you don't, you need to go back and make sure you do the other part. If you need help, check out my tutorial on it. Now we still need to keep in mind our handy dandy rubric, which includes CSS to be formatted, code is consistent, right? Using both CSS tags, syntax errors. Okay, so let's add some styles. I'm gonna head over to style.css. Now, they were nice to us, keep in mind, we already have this page linked right there. That means the styles will work. So in this, I will start off, guys, I'm gonna give my background a color. Now, sometimes I've noticed students will use the body tag and then want to give their whole page a border or something like that. So I'm actually going to start with, you can use body. I'm going to start with this HTML tag. I'm going to give it to the whole HTML document. And I can do that by just typing HTML. And I'm going to do a curly brace, so shift, and it's the key next to the letter P, and hit enter. Now, those are separated, and I'm going to do background, uh, you can do color or just the word background and I'll do, I don't know, what's ugly? Yellow. I want to make this ugly enough that you don't want to do it like mine. All right. I'll do a yellow background. Cool. Now I'm going to go to the line three. I'm going to hit enter twice and I have a title tag or an H1 tag. So I'm going to do H1 and then I'm going to hold shift and hit the key next to the letter P. And now uh, maybe I'll have that be a... Uh, now, I don't need it a background color, just a text color. So I'm going to write color and ooh, would aqua be gross? Well, that's hard to see. I'll do blue. And if you want to be real fancy, what we did earlier in this lesson, RGB, uh, zero red, zero green, and maybe 128 for blue. Hey, hey. Do I like that though? 30 and 30. Make sure you have those commas or this doesn't work. Okay, and then we've done other stuff too. And I can start typing, guys, by the way. You notice how I just hit F? And so if you don't remember every tiny little style thing you've ever seen on here, oh, look, font family, and it will autofill. This is just like professional website design software. It does that. This is a real thing. And I'll do fantasy, I'll say. Hold on. And that's looking good for the H1. Now I'm going to go down here and I'll type. I also used H3 tags, I know semicolon, uh, curly brace, make sure you start and end with one. And then what could I do for these? Well, I'll do a, you know what, I'm going to do a new background. Now I'll only do background colors for my paragraphs. So I'll just do a color, which is the font color. And this time I'll do purple. Cool. And now maybe I want to change the font size. Now keep in mind, guys, when I type purple, if you type it like this, by the way, and click, you need to do the semicolon. The semicolon is next to the letter L. You don't want to hold shift, right? Shift is a colon. Semicolon, you hold, you just hit the key to X the letter L. If you need a semicolon like this thing, that's when you would hold shift. All right, now I was gonna do, oh. Notice I just typed in size even, and it still is like, oh, do you mean font size? I do, so that's nice of it. Uh, I don't know, 18 PX for pixel and semicolon. I can't really tell it's any different though. 22 it is. Oh no, that's way too big. 14? Sure. Okay, and then, uh, that looks good actually. Okay, now for my, I also have H4 tags. So I'm gonna hit enter twice and I have paragraph tags. I'm gonna hit the, no, let's do H4 first, holding shift next letter P. And now for these, I want a background color. So I'll do background. You don't even have to type color, RGB, red, green, blue, parentheses. And what do I want for the background? Mm, I don't know. Let's do maybe a silver. Uh, 90, 90, 90 is like a stainless. Sure, I'll do that. And then maybe I'll do the color, right? White, semicolon, cool. But I think you get the idea at this point. Um, I'll do paragraphs as well. And if you want to get kind of lazy, I never showed you this. I'm going to highlight all this stuff, guys, and I'm going to right click and do copy. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to do paste because now I can just change this. Uh, I'll have that be the letter, all my paragraph tags, and I'll have this be my list, L-I, everything on my list. Now I can change this up. I don't want my list to have a background color. Uh, maybe I want it to be orange. And I don't know, font size 20, 
PX. This is ugly. That's really hard to see. Perfect. Um, red, and maybe I want background. White. Not visibility. Okay, Google, thank you. Something like that, maybe. Pretty cool. Now this is ugly, don't make yours like mine, but you get the idea. Now these semicolons, which is next to the letter L. Colon, which is next to the letter L holding shift. Curly brace, next to the letter P holding shift. You need these all in place or this won't work at all. The other thing you must have is this up here. Now if you wanna get super fancy, something we learned briefly about was classes. So maybe I want all of my, uh, let's say I'm gonna do a class called subheading. So class equals sub, right? And this isn't in the requirements necessarily, but I put that on an H3 tag. I'm gonna also put it up here, class equals, uh, with uh, quotes, right, double quotes, and it only goes in the first tag, not the closing, class equals sub. Now that's there, what if I do it also down here in my h4 tag, right? And one more h3 tag. Now I can go with all that there back into my styles and maybe I want all of my, those tags to have a underline. So now I can go way down here, do dot, and what did I name my class sub? I could have named it Fred, I could name it whatever I want, but whatever I named it, dot, that, uh, and then curly brace, and then text decoration, I'm gonna do an underline, semicolon. And now all of those different ones, H1, H4s, they all get it because I gave them all that class. Pretty cool, fancy. Onward.